Yep. So where is this Goodwin? Where is it? Way out there. Down by Bitter Springs? All right. Serial killers. What is up with these serial killers? Oh yeah, I forgot I have another mod called A World of Pain, which adds like boss battles and shit like that. going to struggle. Fine. Look at these guys. What is he wearing? Serial rocker? What is that? That's I'm definitely taking that. Look at these serial killers. Deranged serial killers. Oh, it looks like she took him out. I think that's all the bastards. Ooh, what is this? More serial killers. them out like it was nothing these serial killers are everywhere they're all ghouls too oh it's down here exiles cabin I could make this quick and painless, but I won't. Oh no! Wake up, guts! Yeah, get your ass up. Give you. Oh, he's got. He has tons of health, huh? Holy crap. I wasn't expecting that. There's usually booby traps, too. Hostile target detected. Continued resistance is unlawful. It's a weird little... It's like a maze. Oh my god, I'm about to die! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Save it here, just in case, because I've got a feeling we're going to die a few times. There's one right outside the door? What am I supposed to do that that? Ooh, all right, so we got the first one. Commencing lawful use of deadly force. Do not be alarmed. Order will be restored soon. Please stand. Do not be alarmed. Order will be restored soon. Please stand by. Killed all of them. <laughs> now save it. Just in case we die, because we just died a minute ago. Ooh, it was right here. Ooh, 
damn, we got it. It looks like dynamite, doesn't it? This place is like a maze. Uh, I need a key. Alright, so this is probably the way back. Oh, we found the key. the door. I do this for a living. I can't do that. I do this for a living. I love that the dog just like scoops things up. I knew it! That was a setup. Where is it? Is it in the rock? Like. <laughs> oh, just repeated deaths. Killed it. Yes. Just blow them up. Yep. See? Never would have survived that. You breathed your last. You died the moment I laid eyes on you. Kill them all. <laughs> How is that not working? You're just another number to me. Nice. Oh no! 
Cazadors! Cazadors! You breathe, you <laughs> I'm not impressed. Neither am I. I didn't even know I got hit. Another key door. Nothing we really. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Hurt somebody? All right, exile shack. You went through a lot of trouble to get in here. Yes, I did. So, persistent scavenger, or are you here for me? I'm here for you. I'm here on behalf of Paul Winters. Seems you owe him a blood debt. Paul Winters. I don't know who the fuck that is. Someone I've wronged, clearly. Not surprising. I've killed many people. Some of them had friends or family. So what, you're just some indiscriminate murderer? I've been around since before the war, kid. Everything. Everyone I ever cared for is dead. Been dead for goddamn centuries. Am I an indiscriminate murderer? Yeah, I guess I am. I don't give a shit. I don't kill people out of some deep personal animosity. I kill them because I don't care. Because they were an obstacle. Because they had something they didn't want to part with. Because it was convenient. We're all just going through the motions, ain't we? Why would you ever do that? No. Me, my wife. Our three girls. We didn't live in the city. We lived a few miles out. We weren't in the blast radius, but we were close enough. My wife and I did everything we could, but seeing our girls, their hair falling out, their gums bleeding, it was hell. My wife was the first to die. She hanged herself. So I put my daughters out of their misery. We were all suffering. So I had to end it. After that was dealt with, I shot myself in the head. And then I woke up. Somehow, I botched my own suicide with a magnum to my fucking skull. I crawled into the desert, figured something out there would kill me soon enough. But it just never happened. And here I am, 200 years later. <laughs> so you... <laughs> You botched your own, your own death, uh, you idiot. And and you're not the only pre-war ghoul. Most of the others don't kill people for no reason. I don't give a goddamn what other people choose to do with themselves. I lost everything, everything that mattered to me, gone. And for what? I survived the rads. The process was agony, but I pulled through and stood on the other side. What if, if my girls would have done the same? What if I didn't put them out of their misery? What if I just murdered my daughters for nothing? So to be clear, whoever the fuck your friend Winters is, I don't care. I don't care about him or whoever it was that I killed. And I don't care about you neither. And you know what? I'm tired of talking. Come on and die already. Hey. It's time to die, Mr. Winters. Time for Linda. Linda, put him out of his misery. I'm really taking my time. I think 
I actually considered you a threat, you'd already be dead. Bye bye. Ah, yes. I suffered great personal tragedy, and so I'm justified in my psychotic behavior. That's a tired old excuse. Oh, I love her comments. Alright, what do you got? Does he have Desperado? He does. Oh, he has Riot gear. That's actually good gear. I think we'll keep that and his hat. And this pack of smokes and his what he has magnum armor hold on sir always got to place the body there we go i don't see anything here though he doesn't even have a what does he got oh he's got a journal his journal I guess this is an exercise in keeping track of my own sanity, or whatever remains of it. Her theories that isolation helps us turn feral sooner. Guess if I notice my faculties fading away, then I'll put a gun in my mouth again. What's the point of any of this? It seems we're cruel and stupid enough to bring about the apocalypse, but we're so fucking stubborn that we refuse to lie down and die in the hell that we created. Aren't I the perfect example of that, though? Not a day goes by that I don't consider ending my life. I've wanted it for over 200 years. And yet, here I am, armed to the teeth, nestled in the bowels of a gauntlet of traps and misery, so as to keep the world at bay can't claim to be brave never have been I still see their faces heard that memories of the beloved dead tend to fade over time coping mechanism I guess never happened to me why should it I'm good at suffering experienced more than enough of it guess that's why I spread it around what's wrong with me I remembered the priest today been a long time just taunting me that I'm bound for hell. I guess God is surely having a good laugh at all this. I wonder how my sister died. Never saw her again after the bombs. If I had to guess, probably captured by cannibals, tortured, raped, and eaten alive. Might be a drastic hypothetical, but in my experience, the most awful possibilities tend to be the ones that come true. Went on a caravan run today. Got blood on my coat. Poor guards, poor merchants, poor cows. They're always, there's always collateral. Can't bring myself to care. Saw some butchery up on the surface. Parking lot above my cave. Saw my men get skinned alive. Another one was dismembered and his parts were shoved into a small box. I, f I left the corpses there. Don't owe them a burial. Just another friendly reminder that wanton, cruelly, and barbarism is the way of the world. It always really was. Now that we've bombed ourselves to a new lawless period, we can just be open about it with our savagery. How loathsome we all are. Considered looting the corpses up on the parking lot, I think I'll pass. Cazador's around here. Who knows if the killers left booby traps. I would have left booby traps. Morbid curiosity. I don't need whatever pittance those poor fools just had jangling in their pockets. Oh, so this is that dude, Eddie Hurst. I don't think I read this before, did I? Eddie Hurst is an NCR native. Did some clerical work here and there for a prominent political family about 15 years ago. And he ended his career by stealing a bunch of documents from the campaign office and selling them to our target, Blake. Hurst is hiding in Red Rock Canyon, correctly assuming our military isn't going to bother waging full war with the Great Cons just to get his junky ass. He's a big time chem fiend. This guy, he's also paranoid as hell. Apparently, he doesn't even speak unless he's waved a bug sweeper around so that they can't spy on him and read his lips. We're positive he knows about how to find Blake, but since we can't get to him, it's gonna be you. Have fun. Specialist April Morgan. So far, things have gone well. Radioactive sludge. 
Watch I die on the way out. Why did he put all those baby carriages in there? I don't get it. That'll stop you. See if you can't jump over them baby carriages. So next, killed his buddy. So now we need to go back to Paul Winter. And now we're gonna head back to Paul. Paul's gonna be like, thanks for killing him, but I ain't telling you shit. Nah, he's gonna, he's gonna spill his guts now. Come on, Paul. Time to wake up, fella. Hey. Yeah. Hey, sir. I got a snake in my boot. Hey, back here. You're back. Yeah, I am. Somehow I haven't dropped dead since the last time we spoke. I killed Goodwin for you. You did? Then that's it. I've outlived all my enemies. If anyone out there still wants me dead, I don't know who they are. I've been alive for a long time. I've done more than my share of awful things. To think that after all of that, I'd outlast them all. The insanity. Well, a deal's a deal. Anything I did for the Burke estate, I'll tell you. What do you want to know? I want to know it all. Tell me every last detail so I can write it down. And just what was your job for the Burke estate? Guess you'd call it a hit, man. Not really any different than my usual bounty hunter work. Except these guys weren't wanted by the law. And to be clear, I didn't do any work for the Burke estate. I did work for one man, Carson Burke, the senator's daddy. I killed business rivals, untrustworthy employees, scorned mistresses. Carson weren't into politics like his boy. Burke had mistresses? Let's go with that one. What? Are you kidding me? Hell yes, he had mistresses. Tons of them. He and his wife hated each other. They had two sons, Henry and Tobias. And other than that, they avoided one another whenever possible. So Carson got his fill from local girls. Now, he didn't like professional whores. He liked to turn respectable girls into whores. Socialites, entertainers, the daughters of other dynasties, he'd offered them so much cash they couldn't imagine turning him down. And once he'd had a woman, he'd only have her but that one time. Afterwards, he'd have thrown them out on their asses. And if any of them started talking about what a wretched man he was, how he couldn't get away with treating them like that, well... The world's a violent place. Hard to see it coming if you're the victim of, say, a mugging gone wrong, for one example. Alright, it sounds like you killed a lot of innocent people. Yep, that I did. It never really bothered me none. I figured we're all going to die someday. <laughs> Life has a way of collecting on those debts. Took my own innocent boy getting himself killed for me to realize what sort of man I was. Still am, I guess. I can't take none of it back. Like I said, take on a debt like that. One way or another, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. It always does. Keep that in mind, kid. Oh, don't you worry. I will definitely keep that in mind. All right, so tell me about the business rivals you've killed. All for the sake of the Burke Brahmin Empire. That's where most of the family's money comes from. They ain't the biggest Brahmin family in California, but they're up there. Top five, at least. Top five? Carson was very selective with his targets, even if he wasn't personally in politics. He had the ear of a lot of important government types. 
If a Brahmin baron in his neck of the woods was supporting the wrong political factions, Bert gave me the green light. Once the head of the family suffered some accident in some kind of way, Burke would buy up their assets for himself. He got richer, and the opposing political block got weaker, and I got paid. And that was the bit that mattered to me. Now, most of those folks weren't guilty, nothing more than being in the way. I don't really have any qualms about killing them, but... Well... If you're looking for dirt on the Burks, there you go. Their former patriarch loved him some assassinations. Well then, what about untrustworthy employees? Oh, yeah. See, I wasn't ever in Carson's inner circle. He had himself a little elite squad of killers and thugs answered only to him. They generally handled internal business for the family. I was mostly kept on retainer to deal with issues that needed some plausible deniability. But on the rare occasion that one of his private security people got cold feet, someone outside the security team would have to take him out. Otherwise, they could run and squeal about whatever shady business they were doing on behalf of the boss. They knew things no one else did. As the nut jobs across the river might say, Quis Custodia Deepsos Custodies. What the hell's that mean? Goodbye, sir. Yep. Do you need something? And I may have answers. Ask. How can I best use your skills? I prefer high accuracy suppressed firearms. Ideally, with a high rate of fire. I'm also quite handy with a blade. I'm perfectly capable of holding my own in combat from any distance. I consider stealth to be my specialty, however. Striking unsuspecting targets and maximizing lethality in that first move is my preferred methodology. I can assist if you utilize similar tactics. I do not, however, have much in the way of training in the usage of explosives, energy weapons, or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hold up a second, Charlie. Any interesting stories of your assassination work? I don't talk about completed contracts. Oh, come on. I'm paid for silence, not just killing. Well, any botch jobs, something go wrong in a humorous way? Accidentally shot an innocent? No, I've never catastrophically failed a job. Lies. Even if I did, I still don't talk about previous contracts. As I've said. Any assassin worth the title doesn't accidentally kill anyone. They kill who they mean to kill. No more, no less. I'm much the same. As for innocence, if you even believe in the concept, it isn't my place to make ethical judgments on my targets. But I've certainly killed my fair share of people that common society would deem innocent and worthy of protection. You know that cliché about the tortured assassin with a heart of gold? with strict rules of honor, never killing women or children? That isn't me. I've killed women, children, the unarmed, and the defenseless. A target is a target. I don't care about the rest. And no, I've never felt one iota of guilt for any of it. I don't really feel anything at all, in any context. I'm rather cold-blooded. Well, I definitely knew that was true. If you insist. Are you aware that you exhibit signs of severe PTSD? Not overly surprising. It's not really something I devote much thought towards. I try not to think about myself at all, truth be told. I suppose I'll eventually get past it. Or I won't. I've learned to live with things being what they are. I'm not inclined to sign up for therapy. So I can recount how I was tortured as a child, and now I kill people for a living and feel empty inside. I appreciate your concern, however. Thank you. I respect that, but I think you, can, you should reconsider. You won't get any better if you don't try. <sighs> Scars don't heal. They just fade away over time. That's all I have. 
scars, both literal and psychological. The damage was done years ago. I spent some time coping, I suppose you could call it. Sometimes the best treatment is time. I'm in no danger of going on a homicidal rampage, nor of slitting my own wrists. Now, I think the best thing for my mental health right at this moment would be to discuss something else. Shall we? We shall. We're not done, Charlie. Yes? I want to find out everything about you. You really don't talk very much, do you? I suppose. Interpret it as you want. I just don't have much to say. We only have so much time on Earth. Less than we usually expect. I'd prefer not to waste it on idle chatter. Wow, that's a grim way to look at it. <sighs> if you insist. <laughs> she hates talking about herself. I'd like to talk about you. So when you're not on the job, what do you like to do? I don't enjoy anything. Bullshit. I'm an emotionally dead, hollow, empty shell of a human whose only reason for living is to kill others for money. I don't believe that. What do you spend your assassination money on, then? I purchase ammunition, gun oil, whetstones, and medical supplies. Of course, I also keep myself fed and hydrated. I try to spare at least an hour every day for silent meditation, to keep myself focused. I also read whatever I can. Content doesn't matter. Children's books, encyclopedias, porno novels, biographies or fantasies, whatever. Porno novels. It isn't enjoyment, but I do try to know as much as I can. And anything to distract me from my thoughts is welcome. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you do anything that serves no practical purpose? Yes. Haha. I listen to music. Not the dated nonsense on the radio, of course. Music... It was never ruined for me. Not like everything else. It makes me feel calm. It can almost evoke feelings. Positive ones. I value that more than I can say. And, um... I kind of like flowers. They're pretty. I knew there was more depth to you than you let on. Hell yeah, we're breaking the onion. We are breaking the damn onion. Why do you figure that? An emotionally dead, murderous, empty person wouldn't enjoy music and flowers. You're only human. If you say so. I'm breaking the onion. Thank you. I do say so, and we're friends, so that makes me qualified to say so. Nobody has ever thought that before. You're clearly insane. <laughs> I suppose I'm obligated to keep you from getting hurt, then. Very well. I've got your back. Oh, my God. No one has ever thought that about me. You're clearly insane. Oh, she's awesome. I love her. She's a great companion. You're clearly insane, because you think that I like flowers and music. I'm dead emotionally. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for today. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for watching the video. And I hope you liked it. Later.